Hey everybody, John Skiba here. And in this video, I'm going to address a question I get a lot in my law practice. When people are dealing with overwhelming debt problems, they often will ask, is, am I a good candidate for bankruptcy? Is this the time to file bankruptcy? A lot of people are worried that they may be overreacting to their current debt situation. So in this video, I want to talk about when to say when, when to put that white flag up and say, I'm going to get rid of this once and for all with the bankruptcy process. But if this is your first time here to my YouTube channel, please click subscribe. That way you'll be notified each and every week when I put out new videos that'll help you deal with your serious debt problem. All right, let's talk about just when to say when, you know, when is it that you should actually take that step and file for bankruptcy? Because I've seen it both ways. I've seen people who file for bankruptcy that probably don't need to, they could deal with some, with some non-bankruptcy approaches to things, but I've seen people that hang on way too long. And this latter, latter category is by far what I see the most. People who just, you know, fight and claw, which isn't a bad thing, but they hang on to the point where it's detrimental to their family, detrimental to their finances, uh, and they just don't get that fresh start that a chapter seven bankruptcy in particular can offer. So I want to go over three scenarios where uh, you, it's probably time to look at a seriously look at a bankruptcy option if the, if you fall into one of these three categories. Now, I'm going to say from the outset, these may sound a little bit, uh, you know, like, a, yeah, I, I get that. <laughs> that makes sense. But um, sometimes I think it's just helpful to have other people and someone like myself that's a professional in the industry to kind of tell you kind of what you're already thinking that, yeah, it probably is time to look at a chapter seven bankruptcy filing. So the first category, the first scenario that if you find yourself in this situation, and this one maybe seem really obvious, but I think that bankruptcy is necessary is if you're finding yourself in a situation where collectors are taking serious action against you. Uh, and this is in the form of like a wage garnishment, uh, bank levy, uh, foreclosure on your home, repossession on your vehicles. If they're, if you're actually to the point where they're taking stuff from you, that's in a pretty advanced stage of the collection process. That likely means that they've already sued you. They have judgments against you. And basically you're dealing with this, a huge giant mess. That's just going to continually get worse if you don't do something about it. Not only that, one of the biggest tools that a bankruptcy has is as soon as the bankruptcy case is filed with the bankruptcy court, it stops all collections against you. They can't garnish your wages anymore. They can't foreclose on your home. They can't repossess your car. All of that stops, gives you some breathing room. It even stops phone calls, debt collection, letters, that kind of stuff, and gives you a chance to really regroup and be able to get rid of those debts once and for all. So if you're at that stage where you're being sued, uh, like I said, wage garnishment in Arizona, they can take up to 25% of each paycheck. It's just a huge burden on families if it gets to that stage. Often the only way you're going to stop that is through a chapter seven bankruptcy filing. The second area where I would say that you need to consider filing bankruptcy is if you are not able to pay your basic living expenses. So what I will often see is people have a ton of credit card debt, medical bills, that kind of thing. And they're keeping the minimums on those in effort to try to save their credit score. But then they're not doing things like, I mean, literally like the groceries or they're not covering uh, rent or mortgage or they're not, uh, you know, medical, that kind of stuff. The, the important stuff in life is really going by the wayside that Dave Ramsey calls this the four walls. Uh, you need to look at the four walls and make sure that they're taken care of, of your home, you know, food, how, you know, roof over your head, uh, gas for the car, you know, those kind of things. Those are what you need to make sure you're paying. And if you're in a situation where all of your money is going to minimums on a credit card, that's when you start thinking, you know, maybe bankruptcy is a decent option. The third area where I would say that you ought to consider a bankruptcy filing is if you find yourself in a situation where you have been paying your monthly minimums on your credit cards for years and not making any progress towards paying them off. It may be that you need to adjust how you're spending. You know, maybe it's something where you pay it off a bit, then you rack it back up. Uh, but it, regardless, you're just continuing to pay that monthly minimum over and over and over for years on end. You're not making any kind of headway into your debt. The credit's not helping you. It's actually hindering you at that point. If you've been doing that and you're not making progress on your debt, that's a situation where I'd say looking at a chapter seven bankruptcy is not a bad option. Now, along with that, you know, I get a lot of questions about how much debt is enough. That's very case specific. There is no specific amount of debt that you have to have to file for bankruptcy. A lot of people are surprised to know that. Uh, you can actually file debt with no bankruptcy. I don't know why you would do that, but you can. There's not a requirement that you have debt. Uh, and I can tell you, I've seen people who have $100,000 in credit card debt and there are non-bankruptcy options that are available to them. I've also filed a bankruptcy once. I remember for a lady who had $8,000 in debt, 
but based upon her income and her ability to earn income going forward, bankruptcy made sense because there was just no way that was ever going to be paid. So I hope that helps. If you're considering bankruptcy, kind of work through some of these things. I offer a free consultation. Uh, if you're here in Arizona, I can talk to you about bankruptcy uh, and I offer a free consult on that so we can help determine if it's the best option for you. And surprisingly, it's not always the best option. I can tell you a number of our uh, potential uh, clients that come in we tell them we can't help you. Bankruptcy is not a good option for it. There are other non-bankruptcy options, but bankruptcy may not be the best. So it's important you talk to someone who's familiar with the process, who knows the law. Again, uh, for those in Arizona, I'm happy to meet with you. And uh, my information will be below the video. Thanks for watching today.